Hello friends, welcome to this OpenStack full course on three node cluster setup using shell scripting. In the last script, we configured, installed and configured heat using these scripts. Now uh, our time to configure Swift. The sequences will configure Swift on the controller node using script number 27 and 28. And then we'll go to the compute node and storage node and configure Swift on that. And finally, we'll come back to this and then execute the Swift script number three. So let's start with the script number 27, which is nothing but installing packages. As usual, you can see that Swift, Swift account, Swift container, Swift object, all these packages will be installed. And this is downloading the file, Swift main configuration file. And this is also main configuration sample file. Actually, it is creating a directory. If the directory does not exist, then it will create the directory. If it is available, change the permission and then download it. If the directory does not exist, down, create the directory and then change the permission and down, download the file. And then configuring main proxy server.com file uh, of our release Z, which we are working on. So let's execute script number 27. Let's execute the script on compute node also, which is our installation of packages. Just check the script number 11, which is not nothing but installing packages. So let's install the packages on this machine. And let's connect to storage node as well. So on the storage node, we are because we are coming for the first time, so we need to initialize the repositories and then we need to execute these scripts. So let's execute script number one. Controller node execution of the script number 27 is complete. Let's look at the script number 28. This script will set up users and endpoints and service. So first it will create the user, then create the user service and admin role, adding that and then creating the service and then creating the endpoints. After that, it is also creating, setting up the database, creating the database and making changes into main configuration file. It is etc swift proxy server.com file various actions inside that the pipeline so let's execute the script script number 28 on the controller node also please note that we have to set up key based authentication from the controller node and compute node to all the machines so i'm on the controller node ssh hyphen copy id storage done on the storage node i'm passing the key as stack user so the key is added let's check on the storage node it is still setting up the repositories and on the compute node this execution of the scripts is complete ssh copy id on storage as stack user as stack user it is done and uh, as far as this is concerned, ins repository installation is done. So let's see that we have to configure etc host on this machine. sudo cat slash etc slash hosts. The file is there or not. The contents, it is not configured. So we need to execute this slash etc hosts. So this is done. 10.10.0.11, 10.10.0.31. So this is configured on this machine. So etc host is configured ssh hyphen copy id to controller yes so the key already exists great sudo su hyphen pass wd we are setting the password for root user so the password is configured successfully password is updated let's change the switch to root user on these machines and pass the key as root user as well ssh hyphen copy id to storage so on the storage server the key is added so let's pass the key as root user sudo hyphen i ssh hyphen copy id storage the key is already existing perfect as root user so we need to just verify all the keys to be present perfectly. So add stack, I'm trying to connect to storage node. SSH storage, excellent. sudo su hyphen i, oh, sorry, simple hyphen i. SSH storage, perfect, done. So from controller, we are able to do.
same thing we'll repeat from compute node also ssh storage done as a stack user ssh storage done exit so from compute node also we are able to do and now from storage ssh controller as root user and we are able to connect exit from controller and back to exit from this root user ssh controller yes we are able to do that ssh compute yes we should be able to do it perfect we need to execute the swift installation the script which will install the packages for swift object storage without demonstration i'm simply executing the script because you know it what the script will do so on the compute node with history command we executed swift script number 11 so let's look at the script number 12 so this script will configure the swift sdb and sdc so two disk sdb and sdc will be used it is making a file system making a directory both these disks will be used for swift object storage rsync d configuration file mounting the device and then uh, configuring this rsync rsync as a service we are downloading configuration file sample configuration file account server container server object server and then changing the settings into account server.conf similarly container server.conf and then object server.conf after that it is changing the permissions of srv node file directory and changing the ownership and permissions of this var cache and var cache swift let's execute this script number 12 this will initialize the disk set up the swift object storage on compute node same thing we will repeat on storage node on the compute node setup is complete 13 is also to be done let's see that script number 13 what is the script number 13 doing this is configuring a synchronization rsync and yes it is making change into rsync.conf rsyncd.conf yes and then restarting the services let's execute this script number 13 done so on the storage node also our installation of the package is complete and what we executed was script number two so let's look at the script number three what the script number three is doing same thing it is using second disk and third disk making a file system making a directory and mounting them and this is so you see this is a making change into etcfs tab so that every time you boot your system the etcfs tab has the right file system mounted automatically and then changing account server configuration container server configuration then uh, object server configuration the same thing and changing the ownership so let's execute script number three on storage node we are on the storage node so on the compute node it is done on the storage node so we are left with last script on storage node for swift let's execute it fourth which will nothing but the same as compute node which is rsync d and that's it so we are back on the controller node now our storage nodes are done we can continue with the swift last script on this controller node so let's configure this 32 script number 32 this is going to this directory etc swift using this swift ring builder command executing the complete set of commands using db and sdc on both the machines these are the ip addresses of this is the compute node ip address this is the controller uh, the storage node ip address so uh, container builder then using object builder same ip address and the machine and the weight and object builder and finally it is using the main purpose ssh and key based authentication is used here because it's going to copy these files to compute node to storage node that's a very important point because we configure this to storage node as well and the compute node and changing the ownership so the key based authentication is very very helpful to automate this script and finally it is verifying so let's execute this script number 32 which will set up the complete object storage
yes so uh, this is uh, see now it is executing on the compute account builder account replicator then compute swift account auditor on compute swift container updater all the scripts on compute start swift object similarly go to the storage node also now it is storage node has started uh, swift account replicator then swift account auditor so it is executing all the script right sitting here and using ssh that's the best thing uh, of the script part this is i think the most crucial script for setting up the complete object storage on three node cluster using compute and controller node for storage and see it is right now it is on the storage and is objecting uh, executing and done now we can verify this i'm logged in to my console now you see object storage containers let's create a container hello world this is object storage container created successfully let's go to the container uh, we configured successfully the object storage on the controller compute and storage node that's all for this session thank you very much for watching